Before epigenetics was a science called genetics. Yes. I taught genetic control, which literally says control by genes. Well, as far as we know, we didn't pick the genes we came with. We can't change the genes, and the genes control our lives. We begin to be taught uh, uh, that we are victims of forces outside of us, and that we should be afraid of the future, and that we should be afraid of our health, and look at how bad health is everywhere, and you're part of this, so the more you're afraid, mm -hmm. uh, it actually turns out biologically, the sicker you can get, because mm -hmm. fear is a promotion of, of illness. And, and so uh, basically it says that there's a new science that's been understood. I saw it 40 years ago. It take, it's taken a long time for the scientific conventional community to begin to acknowledge this. Okay. But in the last uh, few months, for example, in January this year, Time Magazine, the cover story, was on DNA is not your destiny, which was telling the public about the fact is that you control your genes, the way you live your life. And um, so it's very interesting, just to clear up the name, genetic control controlled by genes, that's what it translates as. Mm -hmm. Epigenetic control, completely different because epi means above. Mm -hmm. So when I say epigenetic control, I'm literally saying control above the genes, which turns out the way we respond to life, our perceptions, our emotions, and our attitudes of life are actually directly affecting our genetic readout on a day-by-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. And why this becomes important, it says, well, in the old story of genetic control, you're a victim. Genes control you, you don't pick anything, uh, and, and people become very irresponsible. You tell me I'm a victim long enough, there's a point where it's like, well, if I'm a victim, then I don't really need to worry, I don't care about anything. There's nothing I can do, yeah. Nothing I can do about it, so I lose any responsibility. Mm -hmm. and, and now, the epigenetic one is totally different, because it says, as you change your perception, you change your genetics. Well. If that's the simple understanding, then there's a simple truth, and that is we are powerful creators because we're the ones that can change our perceptions. So all of a sudden, we're not limited by our perceptions. We're able to change them. And when we change them, we have dramatic control over our own biology. Now, after thousands of years of being irresponsible, mm -hmm. it's kind of hard for the public to wake up to the reality is, wait a minute, you mean how I think and how I respond and how I live? changes my biology, changes my genetics, I go, yes. And, and, and then when I start talking about responsibility, people are like, oh, I don't want to hear the story. And it's like, look, you haven't owned responsibility for all these years, and now the science is revealing you are responsible. That means we better change the way we are living, mm -hmm. and we better change our perceptions, because if we don't, then uh, we're going to continue on the path that science has already said is in front of us.